In this video, I want to help you fix a broken keyboard on any Toshiba laptop or any Dynabook laptop. Now, a lot of people don't realize this, but Dynabook actually bought the laptop computer arm of Toshiba. So Toshiba no longer owns it, so that's one reason they call it Dynabook. Um, I want to first show you how to do it inside of Windows, regardless if it's Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows um, uh, 8. And then from there, I want to show you on the actual hardware, how to troubleshoot to try to get the keyboard fixed on the hardware, regardless if it's a laptop or a desktop. Of course, the most obvious one is to restart your computer. So if you haven't restarted your computer, go ahead and restart it. If you have to force it down and power it completely down with the power button, that's fine. And then restart and then tell me if your keyboard works. After you've tried that, what I want you to do is do Control alt in L, control all in the letter L, and I realize your keyboard's not working, but this might enable it. So hold down the control button, all in L, and then see if that will read any functions. Okay, and after you've tried that one, do the old reliable control alt delete. And so hold down control alt and hit delete. If it doesn't work, tap the delete while you're holding down control alt a few times. Pat, 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 and then see if it'll start activating your keyboard. Okay. After you've tried that, now what we're going to do is try to, to enable and update the driver for the keyboard in the device manager. And in order to get to the device manager without a keyboard, it's pretty simple. I'll sh first show you how to do it with Windows 7 and then Windows 10. So what you want to do on, on both of the uh, versions of Windows, you're going to go on the very bottom of the toolbar here, uh, on the bottom of your home screen, and click on that little file. It's basically File Explorer. You click on it, and then with Windows 7, you're going to hit control panel here on the right. And then what you're going to do is hit hardware and sounds. And then right here is a device manager. On Windows 10 and 11, you're going to do the same thing. Click on the little file explorer icon on the very bottom. And then what you're going to do is right click anywhere in the white space. And then click properties. And then right here you'll see device manager. So, when you get into Device Manager, what you're going to go is go down here where it says Keyboards, click on it, double click, and you will see some options. Make sure you're logged in to the Internet, that you've got Wi-Fi or you just connect it to the Ethernet. And what I want you to do is click on Update Driver Software. Try that, and that might take 5 to 10 minutes. And it'll, Most likely it'll say that you're already up to date, but hopefully not. And then after you've tried that, go ahead and uninstall it. Uninstall your keyboard, restart your computer again, and then go back in, in here and, and reinstall the uh, keyboard and see if that will fix your issue. Okay, after you've tried that, what I want you to do is go back to Control Panel, like I showed you on the previous uh, slides, and then when you go to Control Panel, I want you to click on Ease of Access right here. When you click on Ease of Access, I want you to change how your keyboard works right here. And then when it comes to here, make the keyboard easier to use. I want you to make sure all these are unselected. Now, if you want to, you can keep the Turn On Toggle Key selected if you want to. But make sure all these are unselected. Restart the computer and then see if the keyboard will start working. Next, we've already updated the driver, so we've already done that and we've already uninstalled it. Now what I want you to do is go back to where you were here with the device manager. And what I want you to do is go to properties right here. And what I want you to do is click on driver, which will be up here. And then look where it says rollback drivers. So if Windows automatically did an update, what would happen is that sometimes it will uninstall the driver, the keyboard driver. So if this is able to select rollback drivers, click it and then roll them back and that'll take you a few minutes. If it doesn't have the ability to roll back, then you know you don't have uh, a new update for the, the driver for your keyboard. Okay, now after you've done that, what I want you to do is on the very bottom of your screen for Windows, click on that little Microsoft icon on the very bottom left and then I want you to click Settings right here. After you click the Microsoft logo on the bottom left of your home screen, click Settings and then what I want you to do is go to Update and Security right here. And then what I want you to do is click on the left here, click Troubleshoot. And this is primarily for laptops. 
on this screen here, go to keyboard and find and fix problems with your computer's keyboard and click on it. And that may take, take a few minutes and then tell me if that fixes the problem and then restart. Okay, now what you're going to do is change the functionality of how quickly your laptop will start off, start up. So some laptops and desktops you start up and it happens so quick that it's not able to uh, register the, the keyboard. So we're going to go back to control panel and you remember how to do that I showed you earlier. Go to hardware and sound. On power options click on change what the power buttons do. Click on up here change settings that are currently unavailable. And then right here this should be checked right here turn on fast startup recommended. I want you to uncheck it. So uncheck this right here and then tell me if that will uh, work. Just make sure you restart the computer. Now if you've tried all that, I want to, let's physically look at your computer or your laptop and let's physically look at it. Now if you've tried all the troubleshooting techniques inside Windows to see why your keyboard's not working, we're going to physically look at both the laptop and the desktop to see why it m may not be working hardware-wise. So with the desktop, it's kind of obvious. If it's a, an external wireless keyboard, 100% make sure that you check the batteries inside make sure that the batteries are still good. Now this specific desktop is a HP, but all wireless uh, keyboards have a uh, battery in it. So it just might be that your AA or your AAA batteries are bad. Next, after you've troubleshoot that, all wireless desktop keyboards are connected by a USB port. So I want you to physically inspect the USB toggle that's connecting your desktop wirelessly to your keyboard. So go find it and it may look like something like this and what I want you to do is inspect it for damage but what I want you to do is take it out and insert it into another USB port. It may be a possibility that that USB port went bad. Put the USB into a, this into another USB port and then tell me if that will fix your problem. Okay, if after you've tried that what I want you to do with your laptop like this, what I want you to do is, again, I showed you this earlier, but I want you to do Control alt Control alt and L really firmly, like this, just hit it several times, and then also try Control alt delete which for me it's up here. Control alt delete way up here on the corner. And so I want you to do that several times and see if that works. If that doesn't work, I want you to try going and restarting it and going to BIOS, regardless if it's a desktop or a laptop. And to do that, usually you would do start up and just hit F2 at start up and see if you're able to toggle the mouse and then see if there's any keyboard settings. It might be something in BIOS that you tripped up for somehow by accident or there was an update and you could actually make it work by going into BIOS. Okay, after you've tried that, I know this sounds silly. But trust me, it's worked on so many different laptops and desktops. Do this carelessly. Go like this with your palm of your hand. Like this. like, And hit every key. This might trigger something. There might be a short in your desk, in your keyboard. That way you know it might be a, a hardware issue or a short in your ribbon. Or um, it just may may trigger something and release something on your keyboard that makes your keyboard stop start working. I can't tell you how many times I've done this and this will physically make it work. Next what I want you to do is after you've tried that on a laptop or even your desktop I want you to get another desktop uh, keyboard that's either connected wirelessly or preferably through the USB. If it's not wireless it would just connect on the on the side where you're where your USB port is. You might find one on Amazon for real cheap for like 10 bucks or go to Goodwill. A lot of times they're like for five bucks that you connect. Just make sure it's a USB and that you can connect. And so that may be for your laptop, that may be your permanent solution. If for whatever reason you can't get it to work, it's a hardware issue with your keyboard. Just use an external keyboard. Look around your home. You might have one laying around somewhere from a desktop. And then you can use the mouse on the keyboard or just get you a mouse an optical either wireless or USB connect to your laptop and you could use it that way. If you wanted to get fancy you could connect a monitor to your laptop just close your laptop and use your laptop like you're using it as a desktop. That's one way you can extend the life of your laptop by a lot longer 
if you're not able to get your keyboard to work for whatever reason. Okay, if you've tried all that, you can do a factory restore or reset if you're 100% sure it's not the hardware because your keyboard might actually be broken. Uh, with a desktop, of course, you just replace this your, your keyboard with another one. But with your laptop, it may be a hardware issue where your keyboard's not working any longer. So to troubleshoot that, does some of your keys work? Go into the search, go into the home page where it says search and test every key. If some keys are working and some keys aren't, then you know it's not in Windows. It's actually your keyboard that's broken. So go under that search toolbar that I showed, showed you earlier and try every single key. And then if, if one or two works, then you know it's the keyboard that's broken, the physical keyboard. And that would need, either need to be replaced or you just attach uh, an external USB. Um, if you if if you tried that, one thing you could do is actually replace the keyboard itself. There are several tutorials, and every model is different. This is a Dell. Every model is different, but believe it or not, is not as difficult as it sounds. So a lot of times you would release the keyboard by there's screws underneath, or there's like a this is called like a, a bezel screen bezel. This could pop up and then release the screen. There's multiple ways, but what I would recommend you do is just go on YouTube for your specific model and then type that in and see how to remove the keyboard if you really want to go that technical. It's not that difficult. Once you get it out, it's very easy. It's only connected by like a little ribbon. This one little ribbon's connecting it and it releases. And then what you would do is after you get it out of your computer, get it out of your computer first and then look at the model number on the back of your keyboard. And then after you do that, on the back of your keyboard, plug that into eBay and buy one. Usually they're about 20 bucks. All right.